mission to accomplish mission you have to go through a formation mission and formation the word says yahweh called me from my mother's womb he pronounced my name before i was born that's the calling vocation he made my mouth like a sharpened sword he did he hit me in the shadow of his hand he made me into a polished arrow set apart in his quiver see the formation my dear friends he has to made he made my words like a sharpened sword and polished arrow sword to make it you have to sharpen it put in fire beat it, beat against it smash it and then peel it sharpen it that's how the sword and the arrow is made polishing causes pain isn't it you get a sandpaper and do that so you you detach every attachments you 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 change the shape of it that's formation but then remember in that journey you won't see the fruits immediately because he will hide me he hide me in the shadow of his hand he made me into a polished arrow set apart in his quiver so it's kept there until the proper moment so i have to wait upon him so in that way i have labored in vain i thought and spent my strength for nothing this is the this is the temptation that you get you might think that i'm i'm doing this in vain why i am waiting so long he's not using imagine jesus is alive he waited in the quiver in that secret life for about 30 years then only that arrow is taken out then only his word became a sword double edged sword pierced the hearts of many then that's the journey my dear friends so for that you have to sword and arrow you have to be in the hand of the lord through all the trials tribulations struggles it's important that you be with the lord struggle is to take you away with the pain but if you stay you will truly me know the meaning jesus says truly one of you will betray me the disciples then looked at one another wondering whom he meant no one looked at himself but all they looked at one another is exactly our problem so in this formation it's important that you will probe into your heart and see because everyone practically everyone apart from the beloved disciple everyone ran away from him jesus peter says no i'm not going to i'm not going to lord where are you going jesus answered where i'm going you cannot follow me but afterwards you will peter said lord why can't i follow you now i'm already give i already give my life for you you give your life for me jesus asked peter truly i tell you the cock will not crow before you have denied me three times you know, this is exactly what's going to happen this is exactly so they all denied him ran away from him betrayed him but then what is important apart from the beloved disciple the reason the where the place he stayed there he was leaning on jesus chest it's beautiful the disciples then looked one another wondering whom he meant one of the disciples the one jesus loved was reclining near jesus so simon peter signed him signaled him to ask jesus whom he meant and the disciple who was reclining near jesus asked him told who it is he never wanted to change the position you rely recline your head on jesus chest head what you know what you understand what you fathom what you imagine you rest upon his chest heart will speak about love you surrender your knowledge to his love that is the reason he only he 
followed him to the cross. He was beneath the cross. So it's a fact, my dear friends. He will sharpen you. He will polish you to use you later. But then it's important because others were disturbed. They were all looking at each other. But then this person, this disciple, beloved one, relying, reclining on his chest, was resting his chest on his chest. On Jesus' chest. So that is the position that we are called to be. To listen to his love. Come what may, just listen to his love. Because Judas, he was with Jesus and dip that piece of bread in that wine, into that wine, and the devil entered his heart. The word says, devil entered his heart. And he went into the dark. So devil wants you to take away, take you away from Jesus. However, but then if you rest your head on his chest, if you listen to his love, love up, love up, love up, the voice of the heart, you will really be a disciple. So it does not mean that you can forego formation. He has to form you, but then hold his hand, be with him, Strongly be connected. You will see the meaning soon, my dear friends. Because you are chosen. You are chosen for a purpose. He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring back, bring Jacob back to him, to gather Israel to him. He said, it is not enough that you be my servant to restore the tribes of Jacob, to bring back the remnant of Israel. I will make you the light of the nations that my salvation will reach to the ends of the earth. This is your calling. He has a dream for you. Stick to him. Hold on to him. He will do, he will do the needful formation and use you at the proper moment. Think about it. Have a nice day. May God bless you.